Hello, in this tutorial, we will write a Java program to convert octal number to binary number. And uh, this will be uh, something like this. If you see, we have a uh, 67 uh, octal number and its binary equivalent is 110111. And the conversion will take, pla uh, take place something like that. First, we will convert the octal number to decimal number and then once we have decimal number we will convert that to binary number and uh, if you see uh, we already did a tutorial on octal number to decimal number and we also did a tutorial on decimal to uh, binary number as well so in this tutorial we will just combine uh, both into one and in last tutorial we converted binary number to octal number so this tutorial we will convert we will just reverse the process and convert octal number to binary number instead so uh, let's write a separate uh, Java function uh, public static uh, since I have to convert to binary so binary number can be some lost number so I uh, return a long number and that is octal to uh, binary this will take a octal uh, number and uh, we have integer data type deci decimal number we have i equals to 0 as well and uh, we have long number which is binary number which equals to 0 in the start so uh, we start a loop and while our octal number is not equals to 0 and uh, what we will do is we will take a uh, last number one number at a time and we will uh, uh, power it with the multiply the uh, 8 power 0 and then 1 then so on so uh, that will be a remainder the last number equals to oct octal number remainder by 10 and this will be a last number and we want it to be converted into decimal number so we'll add into the decimal number and here will remainder multiply by uh, 8 power i so for power i have already uh, uh, imported java library from java.lang.math uh, java math library and i will say math dot power 8 power i and every in every iteration i will increase i by 1 and i will eliminate the last number so octal number equals to octal number divided by 10 so this piece of code will basically convert our octal number into decimal number and now we need to convert a decimal number into binary number and we reinitialize i with 1 and we start a loop while our decimal number is not equals to 0 and every time we take its remainder by 2 if you see over here we take its remainder by 2 we attach it at the end of the uh, our binary number and then we take its quotient so uh, we take remainder so remainder will be equals to decimal number remainder by 2 and this will be basically attached at the end of binary number so binary number equals to binary number plus uh, remainder multiply by i and i will be multiplied by 10 and our decimal number basically will be divided by 2 so this piece of code will basically convert our uh, decimal number into binary number and finally uh, we return our binary number because it is uh, now uh, octal number is now converted to binary number so if we uh, did everything right this should work on uh, let me take let me take uh, uh, input from user enter an uh, octal number user will enter the octal number we store it to a integer variable called octal equal to reader dot next int and uh, we pass it we store a we make a variable binary and we call our octal to binary and we pass our octal number and finally we print that the uh, binary value of an octal number octal is is uh, binary yeah so uh, let's run and see if this work uh, i'll basically give the same uh, 6 7 value okay let's run it and 
if we i think there will be error for conversion yeah because math dot power basically returns a double integer so it says a incompatible data type and data type is uh, the loci conversion from double to int so we, this basically returns a double value so we need to convert it into uh, integer why because this is uh, being stored into decimal number and decimal number is my integer data type so i cannot uh, give large value to small uh, data types so double is a uh, some uh, uh, large data type and integer is a short so i need to uh, convert it into integer this should work now let's see and there is an other problem uh, decimal number might not have been initialized okay so we need to initialize decimal number in the start equals to zero let's say okay okay uh, i'm not i basically whenever i make tutorials i don't remove the errors i make because i want you to learn how we basically uh, look at the errors and how we debug our code so i don't remove errors so that you also learn from the mistakes i make okay so this is part of the uh, programming whenever you write uh, uh, very complex programs you will make so many syntax error so many other errors as well but the best thing is you uh, end up resolving them okay octal number six seven uh, so it says the binary value of an octal number of six seven is one one zero triple one which is true if you see our octal number is six seven and its binary equivalent is one one zero triple one 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 zero triple one so our program is right uh, basically let me uh, explain it again walk you through the code once again so we have created a scanner uh, object uh, called reader this will help us taking input from the user uh, then we are giving a message to the user to enter an octal number user will enter it we will uh, read that by reader dot next end and we are storing into an integer variable called octal and then we are calling our uh, octal to binary function and we are passing octal number and this will return us a long data type of uh, long data type of uh, binary number and we are storing into a long data type of binary number and uh, inside this uh, our function we have created three variable a decimal number because we need to convert octal number to decimal number first then we will convert decimal number to binary number so we have decimal number binary number as well and i starts with zero and in this piece of code we are converting octal number to decimal number we are taking one number uh, one last uh, number at a time and then we are multiplying it with the 8 power 0 and next number 8 power 1 and so on and we are increasing i by 1 so that next number is 8 power 1 8 power 2 something like that and then we are dividing uh, octal number by 10 because we want the uh, last number last digit basically to be eliminated okay so this piece of code basically converting uh, octal number to decimal number we already made a tutorial on this in which i uh, explained this in detail you can go and watch that if you don't understand this and then we have reinitialized i with one and in this piece of code we are basically converting octal num or decimal number to binary number and we are doing so uh, we are just following this same formula we are taking remainder by two okay and we are multiplying it by i so that uh, it is attached at the end of the binary number and we are multiplying i by 10 and uh, we are also taking its quotient uh, next time okay and for next iteration uh, so this piece of code basically uh, converting decimal number into uh, binary number we already made a tutorial on this you can go and watch uh, finally we have our octal number converted into binary number so we are just returning it so this will be returning as a long data type so we are storing into a long data type of binary number and finally we are printing it so i hope this helps you and if it does please subscribe my youtube channel and i will see you in next tutorial with a new program